Beirut. A cameraman was killed and six other journalists were injured on Friday when the area they were covering in southern Lebanon was hit by Israeli shelling. According to an eyewitness and two colleagues who spoke to injured journalists at the hospital, Arrow Wright Al Arabi TV cameraman Charbel Francis said he was filming Israeli shelling on a hill while standing about 50 meters away from other journalists when the attack occurred. The fighting distant and there was no indication from the journalists' vicinity that fire coming from Lebanon. We didn't see anything being launched from Lebanon. Everything on top was falling. He said, referring to Israeli armament. Colleagues said Assam Abdallah after Israeli shelling hit an area of international journalists in southern Lebanon on October 13. In statement made by, it said, we were deeply saddened to learn our cameraman Assam Abdallah killed. And it stated that Abdullah part of team broadcast Live S along border in southern Lebanon. The statement did not specify who was responsible for the attack on Abdullah and other journalists. Two other reporters, Thayer Al-Sadani and Mar Naza, were injured and seeking medical care. The news agency said, journalists of Al Jazeera News Channel and Agence France Press were also injured in the attack. Al Jazeera said the journalists were all gathered a single area in the village of Alma Alkab, southern Lebanon for safety. In video released on Friday by AFP reporter Christina Ossi, who was among the injured, many journalists were seen wearing blue bullet-resistant vests with WordPress written on them. The channel said the injured Al Jazeera journalists were cameraman Eli Brachia and reporter Carmen. Jukader. AFP identified the other injured journalist as Dylan Collins. The Associated Press, which also had a photographer at scene, reported that an Israeli artillery shell fell near the group during with Hezbollah. According to a Lebanese security source quoted by AFP, the region has been the target of Israeli attacks before. Colleagues of the injured journalists spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to comment on the incident. Reporters Without Borders said Abdullah was killed as a result of an Israeli attack while covering the situation on the southern border in Lebanon. The press advocacy group called it a heinous crime against journalists and said they were continuing their investigation into the circumstances of this tragedy. Al Jazeera said in a statement that it holds Israel legally and morally responsible for this brutal attack and calls on the international community to take action to ensure the safety of journalists. The United Nations Interim Force Lebanon, which was established 1978 to control the border between Lebanon and Israel, said a statement on social media that there was a violent conflict the region since 0502 Live S. Broadcast on various news channels showed that it showed continuous AR.